Yeah, I think uh, one of the things we have to, at least I'm coming to an understanding is, uh, you know, we tend to say we're welcoming spaces, um, but I don't think that's enough. There's an inherent power dynamic. So I'm a professor at a university, and this is someone who's maybe a refugee. By me saying, well, I have a, my office is open, you should come talk to me, how do they find me? So I think people in positions of power, cer certainly educational institutions, have to make a more proactive reach out and not just say, because I know they're welcoming institutions. I know the people who work at the University of Victoria. They are definitely supportive, but I don't think that's enough anymore. I think there has to be a proactive, I need to reach out and say, can I come talk to you where you are? And I think if we all started doing that, there's, there's definitely policy and structural issues, but I think we, we, my main thing is I think it should be at the individual level as a start point. So I think every individual is part of the inclusion, inclusivity project, right? It's not for someone in a position that is granted to them because of elected office or what they do, but it is simple everyday actions, right? Um, and if nothing else, hopefully they meet people and realize what they have in common and how can we make do more of that? Like, what is it? You know, maybe it's the food we eat or the music we like. It's really at the individual level. And if nothing else, if, if we get that out, that I can be doing this tomorrow and the day after and the day after that, then I think we've got to a good place.